Auckland is New Zealand's largest city with a plethora of things to see and do. In this series, filmmaker Amber Beaton, that's me, and comedian musician Richie Simpson will be taking you to some of our favourite spots to grab a bite to eat, sing some booze, and talk a whole lot of shit. Where are we going? Orphan's Kitchen or something? Isn't that's it? so cool. I'm stoked about Orphan's Kitchen because I haven't been there before. You have, no way. Yep, I've been there a little bit. I had a buffalo... Um, flat white there once, which was one of the weirdest things I've ever tasted. So it's like a latte, but made with buffalo milk. I don't, God knows, I, I thought buffaloes were men. It's very fancy. Yeah, but it's still like a cafe, right? Like yeah. it's not, yeah. That's the food's cool. fancy, but it's not a fancy, like, it's it's not pretentious. It's pretty cool. It might be a bit pretentious. The head chef there at the moment is my friend Connor. He's a really good friend of mine. He's not going to be actually cooking us the food. He's going to come and sit down and eat with us. Oh, good. Connor really likes weird shit. He, he cooks likes, with offal, right? Yeah, but he doesn't like mainstream sort of stuff. Like he's really interested in like the different flavors of sort of. So no, like no tiger testicles or anything, things like that. Mm, maybe he would eat that. I did try a bit of gator and New Orleans. What did you think of it? Did it was, you think it was a bit fishy? It was weird. It was it was yeah fishy and chickeny, I guess. Mm. Well, I don't think that Connor's going to be killing any gators or lambs there, but he does have a beehive. Cool. And even though I love Connor, I really hope he gets stung a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> The Food at Orphan's Kitchen is fancy, it's award-winning. Manager Josh Helm and executive chef Tom Hishin have used simplicity and sustainability to come up with this amazing menu. And it's pretty spendy, this isn't the place to go for a burger with your last 10 bucks. This is the type of place to go for an experience. I love his food, but we don't often eat it outside of our house. We usually invite him over being like, oh Connor, come hang out, but actually we just want him to cook for us. Yeah. Yeah. It's got, I've got a stripper mate I do the same thing with. Like, hey, dude, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, hey, Damien, come over and like dance. Well, we'll have a dance, we'll have a fun dance together. But really, I just want to see him dance. So it's not even a woman. <laughs> it's a dog. Yeah, no, nah, I'll make, I'll make that. Up. <laughs> I think I had sex with a stripper once. Really? What do you mean you think? We were in New Orleans. Do you know what sex is? Do you know how it works? <laughs> well, that's that kind the of stuff? thing. So you, you're not sure whether you scissored her or not. <laughs> Lisa got me a lap dance with her, but then when we went into the little room, I got a little bit shy and I thought she'd just sort of like twirl around me, but not actually in my personal space, but she actually like opened my legs and rubbed her leg on my private area. Wow. So when were you in Nola? Mm, about two years ago. I did like a, a swamp tour. The dude that ran the swamp tour was this real weird misogynistic kind of typical like talk like that and every time like he'd be explaining what we're doing and then it, like if a girl would talk he'd be like why don't you let the man speak and like actual stuff like that like I was, I was just like whoa and he's wearing full camo and he's feeding these gators marshmallows off the boat and he's like here gator here gator and he's like hitting the stick on the on the boat and then the gators come up and then they like kind of start clambering towards him because he's, they know he's got the, he's got the marshmallows. So, and then he hits it on the head and goes, stupid fucking gator. <gasps> and I'm like, it's not a stupid fucking gator. He called it over to you to feed it. And he came over to eat the marshmallow. I hate like, this fucking asshole. He was awful, yeah. But the, the, the swamp tour was cool, but everyone hated it. We didn't do one of those. We were going to, but uh, I can't remember what happened. We didn't story <laughs> and cut <laughs> honestly Amber I, what? I wanted to talk to you about tattoos because I know that you don't have one okay well great great start yeah I want to talk to you about Hinduism because you don't believe in it <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I look at I looked at a photo of me in 2010 and I was wearing G-star raw denim mm. with the big baggy bottoms okay and I was like, if I'd gotten a tattoo when I thought G-Star raw denim jeans were cool, I would have got something pretty shit. It's like walking around with a photo album draped around your neck. Yeah, all right, chill out. I do have a lot of tattoos. <laughs> so you no, I, I like them on other people. I just don't like them on me. Yeah, I've got a lot of really, really shitty tattoos. What do they mean? Who does your work? <laughs> Who's your favourite tattoo artist in Auckland? Well, I'm going to get in trouble for this because I'm friends with a lot of them, but they're not my favourites. 
Um, probably Aaron at Tattooed Heart. I think his stuff is really cool. He does quite Satan-y stuff. Mm -hmm. And I like a bit of Satan. Yeah, you like that Satan stuff, don't you? Gosh. Things to do in Auckland City. Auckland has some world-class tattooists. So if you're someone who likes being tattooed when you visit a new city, the Tattooed Heart on K Road has you covered. My name's Aaron Azeel. I'm a tattooer at the Tattooed Heart. I've been tattooing for seven years. I do a lot of black tattoos. The Tattooed Heart has been on K Road for 10 years. Um, it was established by my boss, Adam Craft. Um, we cater to pretty much everyone. Um, but it is, you know, it's very important to be open-minded when it comes to getting tattooed. Like, you know, if your tattoo artist suggests something, it's probably for a good reason. Usually for like large-scale work, it's better to do a consult. Um, it just means that we sit down for like a 20-minute chat and we work out where you want to get tattooed. Um, and then I get your design ready for the appointment and then we just tattoo it. Um, but obviously, you know, you can do a walk-in as well where you just choose something out of the books. It's just up to you really what you want to do. In New Zealand we do have a lot of world-class tattoo artists. Um, you know, everything from hyper-realistic to the Tamahu side of things. If you're ready to get tattooed, you know, Auckland is a really good place to get tattooed. Um, and you know, there are a lot of good people to choose from. I'd like, probably get Bill Cosby. Old Bill Cosby or young Bill Cosby? Um, old. So he's got like Dodgy. That, yeah. yeah. Old, blurred out, slightly blurred out, pixelated Bill Cosby. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> He's so creepy, eh? 59, no. man, that dude. But do you know which one I don't believe? I don't believe Michael, that Jackson? Michael Jackson. Neither. Yeah. Neither, not for a minute. I reckon he was real weird because he had no childhood, so he was trying to recreate his childhood by having like sleepovers with like children. Yeah. I, I know this is like a huge like benefit of the doubt thing. I just never thought he was guilty of that, eh? Neither. I think they just took advantage of him. I think he just wanted to, to build a fort. He yeah. never got to build a fort when he was eight because yeah. he was touring around the world making millions of dollars for his dad. And so once he was an adult, had a bit of freedom, he was like, you know, I don't want to be a kid. And he was like a big kid. And like part of being a kid is having sex with other kids, right? So. <laughs> 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 yeah, a little bit about Ponsonby. Ponsonby is quite a, a flash area of Auckland and it, um, it gets a little bit of shit for being a flash area because I, I guess it attracts quite a lot of pretentious kind of showy sort of people. It's your hood, eh? <laughs> <laughs> or do you just drive around it? Should I just drive there? off a cliff? <laughs> How about that? Yeah. How's that for pretentious? We both die. <laughs> I've had quite a few good nights out in Ponsonby. I like, there's like a little section of uh, little cocktail bars which are, are quite cool. I love mojitos, I like margaritas. I had my first martini a couple of weeks ago and now I like really like martini. And did you, did you feel like Samantha from Sex in the City? Is it the one with the woman that looks kind of like a shoe? <laughs> Is it Sarah Jessica Parker, right? Yeah. Man, I wanted to f*** her when I was younger. Oh, bleh. Well, I did. Honestly, man. From Hocus Pocus. When did I wanted you... to Pocus her Hocus. Get it. <laughs> I will crash this car. Orphan's Kitchen today and we actually know the head chef here, Connor. Yeah. Let's talk about the food here, man. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. What's your favourite dish? All of it, obviously. Um, I, I personally, I'm a huge fan of Wagyu biscuit and Krumra hash because that fixes anything that's wrong with you. Krumra tortilla right. muscle nduja. Is that it? Nduja is a spicy nduja. sausage. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, nduja. Yeah. <laughs> nduja. <laughs> it's a type of sausage. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. I can't pick though. I really can't pick. So I'm gonna let you pick for me. Oh, dude, you should totally get crumpets with burnt butter, roof honey, and some bacon. The honey comes off the beehives on our roof, and yeah, it's... well, you guys we... have beehives on your roof. We sure do. That rules. Yeah, it does. Well, would you ever allow bees to hive on you, like Lisa Simpson? No, I'm I'm deathly allergic. Are you? Yeah. I really hope he gets stung a lot. <laughs> Well, it won't kill me, but I just get all balloony and gross. Did yeah. you guys ever see that lady on the news or whatever she was on? But she like stings herself with a million bees to try and like feel better. Make me feel if you say her name better. three times in the mirror, does she appear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But how, what silly bitch, silly bitch, silly bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. she's here. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
bees. What a fucking <laughs> waste of bees, eh? Yeah, because they, they die. die. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's that's so shit. And they're rare. They're hard to find. That's why it's well, cool you guys have got this going on the roof. Well, yeah, I mean, it's that. so stupid that people don't care about bees because they make like 90% of our food. Yeah. So unless you want to like run around with like, like artificially inseminating flowers, bees what? don't have time for it. I really, I'm busy. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> busy like a bee. Oh, yeah. stop it. Isn't it like yeah. a Wu-Tang thing, the killer bees? I think it's like Wu-Tang called their affiliates the, the killer bees or I something, think they're isn't affiliates. it? affiliates, <laughs> Well, like affiliates to yes. the group that is They're peers. Yeah. yeah, they're mates. <laughs> Pals. <laughs> <laughs> Pals, like Pals of Wu Tang. Are you a pair of, of, of Wu Tang? Yes, I'm a yeah. killer bee. Yeah. Honey? Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> this place couldn't really be better, could it? No, I, ca I can't believe it. <laughs> it's hard to hear because this is such a hive of activity. Whoa. Downstairs. Whoa. <laughs> it is. She's wearing a bee suit. I can. <laughs> 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 It's like covered in the weirdest looking shit. It's like bee dicks. Bees this, don't have the, dicks. A, don't they? Oh, I don't the know. bees have dicks? Half don't. of them. Oh no, there's just one queen and you just, they like jizz it onto eggs, don't they? Like yeah, larvae. Yeah, I think they, so they do. Have something to jizz it with, I mean. Yeah, maybe they just spit jizz. I don't know, how does it work? <laughs> <laughs> if you could spit jizz, then spit it'd be Spit as a quid is. <laughs> God damn it, bee. <laughs> I'm finishing! <laughs> <laughs> this is Failure, The Heart is a Monster. It's kind of progressive grunge, if that makes sense. They're kind of a band's band in a lot of ways. Uh, the Bane was a fan, the Melvins were all fans, and uh, they, they took 20 years off. Um, because they went nowhere. For some reason, they're still all still alive. None of them died from heroin overdoses. That's Is it because they couldn't out. afford it? Because they've been <laughs> possibly, possibly, yeah. I mean, I don't know what happened, but they, they like if you hear a perfect circle and things like that. There's just so much borrowed from these guys' sound. Didn't a perfect it's circle crazy. cover one yeah. of their songs? Yeah, A Nurse Who Loved Me is actually a failure song that um, they kind of reimagined completely, which is pretty cool. But this record, there's like 20 years of production experience that's gone into the, the main brains behind it, Ken Andrews. It sounds incredible. It's produced immaculately, but it's still got that classic failure sound. And I highly recommend you check it out and all their other albums too. It's cool. Yeah. Failure. My pick for this week is Option Paralysis by Dilly. The truth is, I listened to Calculating Infinity and I really didn't like it. And then um, someone sent me Farewell Mona Lisa. Ah, oh, that's a banger. I think, try this out and just see how you go. I think, yeah, it's, it's a great album. And if you like Mike Patton or anything that Mike Patton does, you will probably find something in here that you're going to like. Yeah, so give it a go. Similar. And I think, yeah, we're all big Mike Patton fans. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The man. Mm -hmm. That's my vinyl for this week. Good choice. Good. What's in those drinks? Can I smell it? The Negroni? Or <laughs> <laughs> the V-Dick. Or the V-Dick. Something's going on, can I smell your dick? Oh, whoa, well, risque. Is that that song? song? Yes. It was quite a risque it was, song to choose. Yeah. And I like that she was like, I, I don't trust you. And she knew that she could smell a different vagina from her oh, own on so a guy's dick. She must be like, like a police dog or I something. I don't think it was a serious <laughs> song though. No, it was. It well, you'd was. know your own scent, wouldn't you? I watched a dog You wouldn't be able to smell your own well, scent. Well, you know, how, how often do you check? Well, I guess it's like do you when, you sometimes, when, you, when you sometimes when you have bo, sometimes you can't smell it because you're so used to it. So yeah, I think but she would do be you able like, to get a sweaty palm and just get some musk and go. Oh, that's me. No, but apparently my my dad's friend used to train and 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 like get all sweaty and he'd have a handkerchief by his balls. And then before they'd go out, he'd fold it into a triangle and put it in his pocket and he reckoned that the pheromones, oh, the pheromones. got him like more action and stuff. But it could have been that he looked exactly like Piers Brosnan. I reckon that's probably yeah. more the thing than yeah. having a, a ball of cheese. And that the, <laughs> the girls were just kind of ignoring the smell because he looked like Piers Brosnan. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Interesting I fucking hate this conversation. Fact. Interesting <laughs> <little fact. laughs> I'm not a fan of balls at the best of times. Mm. I don't think anyone's a fan of balls. No one. There's no one who's just like, you know what I really think is really sexy? Cinderella was. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
So my record is moving away from the rock genre. This is Kaji Bonet, album Visitor. It's her first, first record she's put out. She's a classically trained musician and does all the instrumentation herself. Her voice sounds like she's from a James Bond theme song and oh, she it. like, yeah. it's stunning. Um, and it's, it, every song is different and interesting. Her voice is, is fucking phenomenal. It's amazing. She's got a massive afro and a total babe. Really? Wicked. Um, yeah. And what else is really cool is the record is glow in the fucking dark. Whoa! Whoa. So That's cool. if you want to like set the mood, it's, <laughs> it's, it's sexy and sultry and you can turn the lights off and still kind of see your partner. Yeah, sweet. By record light. So and if your partner's like a 6.5, yeah. get that album. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's phenomenal. It's one of the best albums I've heard in the last like 10 years. It's cool. absolutely cool. away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm me too. I'm going to go home and listen to yeah, it. Cool. Cheers, okay, Connor. so ordinarily we give away all the vinyl, but we can't give away Connor's because it's his. Mm. <laughs> but you can still have ours. And I think these two records, someone is going to be so lucky yeah. taking these. I'm I actually, don't want to give this away, but yeah, I will neither. because it's a gift. You know, you got to you got to pay it forward. So someone's going to get this. <laughs> and the way that you can win these is if you uh, subscribe to our channel. If you already subscribed, just go follow us on Instagram. And if you've already done that, then just comment telling us that you have and uh, and share yeah. it and share it. You know, yeah. Tell your friends. Love Let's have some food. Hey, this looks amazing, Connor. I know that you didn't make it, but you can take that compliment if you like. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, that's intense. Oh my god, that's so much better than the two chicken nuggets I had for breakfast. That's quite the compliment. This is fantastic, man. This is absolutely delicious. Come and check out Orphan's Kitchen. It's really, really good. It's good people, good food. Cool sun arm. Look at his sun arm. Is that like Have you sun, seen that? Is look, is look, that us, look at that arm. Is that like sun O, but with an arm? Yeah, but less boring. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Go. <laughs>